We all know someone who has bulked really effectively and gained a lot of muscle. But we also know a lot of people who are bulking and got fat at the end. Today I'm going to tell you why it's not optimal for you to bulk. Welcome to the video guys, Fardin here from wolfingphysique.com and if you're new I'm going to ask you already because this video is going to be really valuable. So first off hit the like button and subscribe because you don't want to miss anything. I upload a video every week, sometimes two, all with one mission to give you value to science the shit out of your physique. So let's get into the topic. So let's start about bulking. What is bulking exactly? Well, bulking is a period of time where you focus on building muscle by eating in a calorie surplus. So we all burn an amount of calories in a day. And if you want to gain weight, you need to eat more calories than you burn. Same with weight loss. If you want to lose weight, you need to eat in a calorie deficit, meaning eating less calories than you burn. So during a bulking period, you're focusing on building muscle, so eating in a calorie surplus. But most of the time, you are not in a position to do that for it to be optimal. It is not wise to bulk if your body fat percentage is high. The higher your body fat, the worse your nutrient distribution. Nutrient distribution says something about where the eaten calories go. And with poor nutrient partitioning, there's proportionally much more fat gain and therefore less muscle being built. So nutrient partitioning is very important, especially during a bulk. A high body fat causes something that's called chronic inflammation. And do not get me wrong, I'm not here to demonize inflammation. You need inflammation because inflammation refers to your body's process of fighting against things that harm it, such as infections, uh, injuries, and toxins in an attempt to heal itself. When something damages your cells, your body releases chemicals that trigger response from your immune system. So inflammation is necessary, but chronic inflammation is different. When you have chronic inflammation, your body's inflammatory response can eventually start damaging healthy cells, tissues, and organs. Over time, this can lead to DNA damage, tissue death, and internal scarring. So yeah, that's not really relevant at the moment, but it's bad. And when it comes to muscle, it will be more difficult to repair muscle tissue and to recover properly. With a high body fat, your testosterone will drop, cortisol will increase. Because you have a high body fat percentage, you automatically have a disrupted hormone balance. Hormones are so important for muscle growth as well. Testosterone is the most important hormone for building muscle mass. So remember that. And just put it in your head so you don't forget it because that's really important testosterone is important that's why a lot of bodybuilders inject testosterone to become really big but that's in unnatural levels and that's not relevant here so i go on research has shown that having a high body fat results in lower testosterone levels this also applies if your fat percentage is on the low side so even more important factor is looking at when your testosterone ratio is at its highest. This is the case if your body fat is at a normal level, so not too high or too low. If that would be the case, cortisol production will be reduced. So there's a range of a good body fat. So you do not want to be fat and you do not want to be too lean. If you're too lean, your testosterone is low as well. So you need to be in the middle. So a healthy body fat. And then also you have insulin sensitivity and insulin release determines how good the nutrient partitioning is. So it's important. Insulin is a hormone made in your pancreas, a gland located behind your stomach. It allows your body to use glucose for energy. And glucose is a type of sugar found in many carbohydrates. For muscle growth, 
It is important that the personal insulin delivery matches the level of a person's insulin sensitivity. You get it? So let's just say, if you're having a high body fat, your insulin sensitivity will decrease. And that's also called insulin resistance. And you develop a bad nutrient partitioning. So the calories that you eat and the nutrients don't get delivered at the right places. In short, this means that your tolerance for carbohydrates deteriorates and this results in inflammation. When your carbohydrate intake is too high, the calories will also go to the fat tissue instead of muscle. So that means you build less muscle mass in proportion. So you build up more fat and less muscle. That's why it's really smart to have a good nutrient partitioning. So you build muscle. So that's the most optimal way. That's why I never recommend any of my clients or anyone, also you guys, do not build if your body fat is too high, I'm talking about above 15% at least. You should start when you're really, really lean. And also, if your body fat is high, that means your thermic effect of food will be reduced. So for those who do not know what the thermic effect of food is, the thermic effect of food is simply the calories you burn during digestion. So for example, if you eat a meal, your body uses energy to digest that meal. And the energy your body you will use during a meal if your body fat is high is really low. So that means in essence, you're burning less calories throughout the day. And this can have an effect. So if you eat in a calorie surplus and your thermic effect of food is, well, shit, that means that you can gain more fat easier because you are not burning a lot of calories then. So this has an effect also. So my take home message for you is, start with bulking if you're lean, where you still feel healthy and energetic. But if your body fat is too high, cut first to a healthy lean body fat and bulk from there. But do not bulk if your body fat is higher than it should be because it will not be optimal for muscle growth because if you're fatter you'll build less muscle and store more fat so you get more fat feel me and if you're struggling with losing fat or building muscle optimally let me be your coach and visit my website for my meal plans my training programs and my next level one-on-one -on -one coaching you also receive four free ebooks from me if you apply for online coaching and you also have a 100% money back guarantee because if you get coached by me, you'll get results 100%. That's how sure I am. And guys, like the video, subscribe, hit the bell next to it, and let's chat in the comments because I respond to everything. So love you guys and much love.